And we're live here What's with up? Video Mantis, Wilcox Sound, and Hide a Mic. That's right. Uh, guys, this is going to be an incredible day. I'm Thomas Pop from Video Mantis. I'm here with David Cook, How a doing? good friend of mine. He's a, a Los Angeles sound mixer out here. Uh, tell me a little bit about what's going on today. Oh, Do you man. Know? You know, today, uh, a bunch of us who are just uh, having a lot of fun and geek out on audio For have sure. come to Wilcox Sound to learn all about hiding microphones. Absolutely. Which is usually what we do at home yeah, but sometimes we do it at work too no oh, you do it at home just like practicing all yeah, day just right? I'm like you know what I'm just gonna hide a mic right here in this banana I'm gonna hide it in the cereal box <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna hide it in my baby's diaper it's gonna be hilarious. for sure baby diaper yeah mic. there we go that's well, right very good well guys we're here today for Eric leaks hide a mics easy miking seminar he's gonna be teaching a bunch of different things like set etiquette as well as how to wire people up in uh, very quick easy things like just one quick minute yep. miking techniques yep. which is something that we all need to know absolutely he's gonna be using some of his own accessories but some of the other ones that are out on the market too so Excellent. this is a great thing it's that's not exciting. a very biased yeah. thing no that's which great is good. I love that yeah I, I was working on a doc just uh, this weekend mm -hmm. and uh, the subject was 93 year old uh, gentlemen, and it, it was one of those things where, you know, you don't have a lot of time with someone. Like, I mean, he could he could barely stand up long enough for me to put a mic on him. He had to for sit. Sure. So I for knew sure. I didn't have a lot of time with him, and I knew I had to get something in an, in an, on him quickly. Yeah, that wouldn't be problematic for the rest of the day. And for so, sure. For so sure. I think seminars like this are great for that, especially when you're in a quick situation. Right. You know, exactly. You got to mic someone on the fly and really make it count. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, guys, here we are. And, in fact, uh, we actually just had Eric Leak. He was uh, making finger puppets behind you. Nice. Um, <laughs> he's ready to I go. So, you know what? I want to yeah. say thank you, David, absolutely. for helping me to Anytime. open the show. Love it. Guys, David Cook's available. If you need anything in L.A. or That's he right. travels, come on. I do. Absolutely. ready. <laughs> thank right. you, David. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Have a good one. And, Eric, if you are ready, we are ready for you. So, we're going to bring in the man. David, thank you one more time. You just put those headsets down. And we will bring in the man. If you want to go and hit record on that other camera, you, now you can. We're just getting a bunch of stuff going, guys. we got the live event that's going to be covered for everybody. As you can see, there's a lot of people here. And now we have the man, Eric Leak, once hi, again. Hi. It's good to see you, buddy. Yeah, good yeah. to be here again. Phew, man, you are busy. I mean, I you're doing podcasts with me. You're doing wiring technique videos yesterday. Now yeah. you're doing the, the seminar. You yeah. did one in, in uh, Gotham Sound, New yeah, York, just a couple days ago. Yeah, but it wasn't as crowded as this one. This is crazy <laughs> this today. Is crazy. This is crazy good they're already like 60 people in now it's amazing you know well i mean i, I guess we can thank the rain for that because everybody's afraid they don't want to be in their house they don't want to be alone they're coming here we're all just going to have a good time together we had a good lunch absolutely it was very good grips, food good yep. raffle mm -hmm. and some tips on hiding the microphone absolutely guys you got to remember that if you are planning on coming you really got to get here so you can sign up for the raffle and make well, sure that you're ready to go right is that you it's going to be you still have three minutes or something so, okay a couple more minutes to go so hopefully you guys are there if not obviously you can join us. Maybe we could even do like maybe one live raffle for one of the people that are, are live with us. What do you think? Could we do something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Maybe a quick giveaway. Uh, guys, we got something new. So at the end of the day, yeah, yeah. after the seminar's done, we're going to give away what, like a, a hide a mic kit or something? Is that okay? We can do a kit. Yeah, no We're going to do one kit to somebody. So guys, we need your feedback. If you guys but have questions and things. How, how do we raffle it? Oh, you know what? I'll help with that. Don't worry about that. Okay, it might okay. not be at the end of the live video, but we will do something after afterwards to make sure people know. Okay. I, so I will just give him a set and he makes sure that it comes to you. Absolutely. I'll make sure you get it for sure. Thank you so much. So we got a few minutes before you go live. What time is it right now? Do you know the time? I got it. It's 1249. We got 11 minutes before you go live. So what are we going to talk about today? What are we doing? Well, actually, we start with uh, introduction, like what I did, where I come from, how I uh, started with Heide Mike. Excellent. Uh, also a little bit on uh, how you make uh, an idea into a product because yeah. we all are here and we all have ideas when we're working we all think oh maybe I should have this or I should have that absolutely but, uh, having an idea and making it, making it into a product that's a complete totally different, story. different thing so I would uh, I want to take you a little bit through that whole process and mm -hmm. uh, and see how how you if you have like ambition to make something what a what a 
what a way could be to do it. Absolutely, for sure. And then uh, we're going to in some general things about hi uh, microphone hiding, like uh, how should you prepare and, and what are the general things you well you, you encounter on a set. Right. And then we just do the one minute hi uh, miking uh, workshop and I have like around 10 situations that you encounter every day, can encounter every day, and I will just show uh, different ways to um, Hey, buddy, oh, good yeah. to see you. Yeah. Doc Justice Halter Technical in the house. There we go. We might have to get him here in a yeah, little bit, yeah, too, yeah, talk too. to him. Yeah, great. Very good. And um, uh, doing, a, uh, I lost track here now. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have like 10 different s situations, and I'm going to explain how you can mic that easily within a minute. Absolutely. And that's uh, great. That's yeah. what everybody needs. I mean, that's, that's something that is uh, needed more and more on set. People th expect us just to be wired so fast, but it's so it's such an intricate thing to do that sometimes you need a little bit more time. So I'm, I'm really excited to see the types of tips and tricks that you have today. Okay. For yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. And you know okay. what, give me guys, we're, we're live. I'm just remembering a couple more things. I got to hit record on a couple things here to make sure you that we, it again. we got our backups. <laughs> I did it again, guys. There's a lot going. We got five cameras going today that you guys will see in a little bit. So we cover everything. Your good side, your bad side, your okay side, yeah, whatever well. side you got. Right? Mediocre side, probably. <laughs> no, no it's I don't it's think it's so. It's interesting, you know. I'm, I'm also a sound guy. Uh, uh, I, I was shooting a documentary like uh, six days ago yeah. uh, somewhere in North Carolina. Wow. And now I'm here like, you know, the... It's crazy. Hide my guy that yeah. has to speak to all these people. For yeah, sure. So that's that's uh, <laughs> that's a big leap. I can tell you that. Well, you got a big fan base. It looks like it seems that's like a yeah, lot of people are it, you know it. here and uh, you know happy to support you and you know obviously just wanting to learn all of the tricks and the tips. Feels that a you little have. bit like a like a like a sports game. We're going to kind going of right. To. You know, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, sports yeah. center. Yeah. This just well, wh what do you reckon it's going you know? to happen? Is he <laughs> going to survive or is exactly? <laughs> We're going to have the blooper reel later too. No, yeah, I'm just kidding. Okay. You know, don't screw up. I won't. Screw okay, up. and otherwise not. I do. It, I mean, it's no problem. Yeah, yeah for it's sure. It's, uh, we have a. There was food and there's a raffle. So Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. If you don't like it, at least you had food. Shut yeah. up. Okay. So. so uh, 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 are we done? Or can I, I think I, so. I would like to have some sort of... Yeah, if you need to get going for a little bit, maybe absolutely. You can, you can, maybe you can uh, ask yeah. uh, uh, the guy from Halter. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. So, you know, we're going to let Eric go and prepare, guys. That's what we call the calm before the storm. Thank you very much for meeting with us before yeah, we did this. Me. Yeah, and uh, thank for doing this all. I mean, yeah, for really sure. appreciate that. Happy to hear. You know, that's, that's, what, that's what we're here for. You know, we love yeah. to help. Video Mantis, don't, don't forget. Absolutely, guys. We're here. <laughs> okay. Hey, Doc. Do you mind coming in for a minute? I know you're eating, but we're going to bug you. Bring your food. It's okay. Totally. Don't worry about it. You're going to help me. If you, uh, if, do you mind coming around this way? I'm actually, I know, I'm throwing you right live. You know what? we got to kill about four or five more minutes, so you're going to help me. going to throw you into the fire, buddy. I haven't talked to you in a while. How you doing, buddy? Um, excellent. Absolutely. We'll, we'll wait for you to get that on. Guys, uh, you know what? Eric needs a little bit of time to prepare for the 1 o'clock meeting, so I thought I might bug you. I know you grabbed your food. We can bring it here if you're hungry. All good. You know, I'll, for I'll sure. take, a, take a second. Yeah, guys, this is Doc, Justi uh, Doc Justice from Halter Technical. How are things going? I haven't talked to you in a while. A couple months, it seems. So good. Happy you, uh, to be in the building. Show me the gold shoes, man. How you doing? Oh, huh? man. Everything good? No, I'm... I'm Sitting with the common folk. <laughs> very good, yeah, very good. Yeah, kept the yacht parked at home. Absolutely, that's good. No, life is good. Everything's good, huh? Life is good. What would Building. have been some of the jobs that you've been on recently? Oh, it's all about focusing on halter technical for over the past few months. Very good. Um, we had. It's a good a, problem to have. We have a, a new ad campaign that launched today mm -hmm. called Four Innovators with a, a new. Uh, ad up on YouTube that got posted this morning, and wow. there's a whole social media campaign awesome. to follow. Um, so, guys, check that out. Facebook, you know, look up Halter Technical. Let's take a look and support It's Doc. all around there. If you know how to find me, you'll know how to find Absolutely. An anything I do. <laughs> um, and uh, the scene monitor headphone um, has been everywhere lately. Mm -hmm. Found out last night that we were involved in a few Super Bowl commercials. There you go. Which was pretty damn cool. Very nice. Did your team win, by the way, or no? Um, I'm an Eagles fan. Oh, boy. So Should I we was say that quieter? Is no, okay? Okay. no, I'm well, an Eagles proud. fan. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so, no, I was happy that last night was one of the worst Super Bowls ever. <laughs> um, Very good. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Um, Very good. But Everything else has been great. Building, uh, very excited about what 2019 has to offer. Absolutely. We've got uh, 
some new things in the works. Okay. We've got some new collaborations in Maybe the Maybe before NAB, do we get to see something new? Maybe? Uh, probably not before NAB. Okay, okay. Yeah, probably not before NAB. That's all right. You'll good know, things take time. You'll know before anybody else. Good, knows, good. I want to make sure that we get the inside scoop before anyone. This is anyone. a good crowd. Isn't it? It's crazy. And it's really good too, food, too. I'm sorry you're not eating it right now. I was like, nope, you're going to come into the hot seat. It's all right. As no no, long as no one's uh, licking it. Yeah, right. No, exactly. Well, there is a poodle here somewhere. I, so, saw, you know. I saw a couple. <laughs> yeah. Very good. So what do you think about this event? This is Easy Miking Solutions uh, from Eric Leak. Hi to Mike. He's going to be giving a lot of one-minute examples of how to mic somebody just in and out. This is one of the biggest benefits of the Los Angeles sound community. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm such a big proponent of community within the industry. The fact that we get uh, all of these people, all these professionals together to... Yeah of various varying uh, levels of experience and success and accomplishment. Um, so it's nice that everybody here wants to continue to learn, have that continued educa education. Absolutely. Have that camaraderie here. This is a great event. Absolutely. We have to remember that there's different ways to mic people, even with the same accessories. But regardless, there's tons of different manufacturers that make different mounts and molds and B-flexes and silicone things. And you know what? Every single piece, regardless if you like it or not, is going to work for a certain application. Yeah. Oh, you the, know? and the past few years... Um, we've been very lucky that the market has exploded with all these new players. Yeah. Um, not just Hide a Mike, who came in very strong and, and put in a, a huge dent in the market. Yeah. Um, but we have so many others that have hopped on board and create all kinds of uh, doohickeys and who's yeah. what's it's for, for us sure. to, for us to uh, come up with creative ways of miking when. You know, not that long ago, it was Rite Aid was your best option yeah. for miking supplies. Transport, moleskin, overcovers. Right. Oh, my God, when those came out, we were like, thank God we're saved. Right. You know, but nowadays, it's like, I'm like, yeah, give me, an, uh, g give me a hide a mic. Right. Give me a concealer. Give oh. me this. Give me that mini mount. So when I'm on a show um, and I submit my expendables order, yeah, um, I am sure to include not just all the tapes and everything that are you know, true to the word consumables or expendables yes. that we're throwing out on every shoot. I'm glad you're touching but on this. But it's also, uh, I, I order all of my kits, all of my mounts. So Absolutely. if I'm ordering... People need to understand that that is part of the expendables yes. that you have to pay for. Absolutely. Exactly. Sorry for the phone call there. Um, yeah, so I have my microphone mounts, my body packs, waist straps, yeah. all of those go on the expendables order yep. so that I'm not paying for them out mm -hmm. of pocket. Yep, it um, shouldn't be. So that these things can, you know, disappear or break on a show and it's fine. Exactly. Nobody, nobody is uh, upset or crying about it. Yeah. Um, it's not like it's a $100 thing. It's 10 or $20 depending on the piece. And it makes the show better. It makes the show if better. The sh it, makes it makes post-production easier. Yeah. If it makes the show better, production has no problem buying it for the show. Exactly. And they buy a new, you know, if it's a TV show, reality series like I typically work on, we'll buy them new for every season. New batch of straps, new batch yeah. of mounts. Absolutely. Well, you think, yeah. you know, you got actors that are sweating in them normally, and unless if people are washing them, I don't really wash mine sometimes, sorry. Um, they get nasty. You know, yes. you need to replace them. You know, yeah. it, it's all about sanitation. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> you know? It's disgusting. Especially Absolutely. you get on... Uh, uh, you do some of the competition shows or any of the uh, any of these shows where people are sweating or running in and out of water, in and yeah. out of mud. Yeah, for it's sure. Getting yeah, it's, it can get kind of crazy. That's it. So, Doc, I want to say thank you for stopping in for yeah. a few minutes, guys. Obviously, check out haltertechnical.com for sure, and uh, check out their new ad campaign on Facebook as well. And I think we're getting pretty close to the event, so we're going to start flipping over and getting ready ourselves. Here we go. You go eat that food Thanks and let lot, me know. Bud. Maybe we'll talk to you afterwards. I appreciate it. All right, buddy. Take care. Let's go ahead and flip to one of the other cameras, everyone, and we'll see you. Everyone, have a good seminar. We'll see you soon. Okay, my headphones are down. That headphone is up. For everybody listening, I'm going to leave my microphone up. We're a few minutes out still. I think we have another minute or so before we go. Um, 
and we'll go from there. Why don't you try to find Natalie and just let her know that we're ready to go and, you know, we have people at home. Guys, please remember that we will be live. Well, so um, here we go. We're well, ready to go, guys. Have a good shoot. We're about to start. And uh, first of all, I want to thank you for all coming right. in. That, that you are with so many we really haven't ex expect that so uh, thank you for being here and hopefully we can uh, uh, is there a possibility that you turn off the beamer for a sec because it's right in my eyes <coughs> yeah, turn it off yeah for for now or, 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 or remove it a little bit yeah oh that's a good idea so uh, thank you for that, and I hope you have a nice afternoon. Um, my name is uh, Eric Leek, and um, I am the uh, owner uh, and inventor of the Heidemike clips, and I'm also a production sound mixer for 25 years now. I did film school in Amsterdam and uh, graduated in 95, and from, from there on I immediately went into sound and I started with a uh, uh, series, feature films, and I did that for about 10, and then I got children, and then I stopped with doing feature film because it was just too intense, you know, I didn't, didn't want to leave at 7 in the morning, come back at 9.30 at night and have like when the... Uh, uh, when you had a day off that you have like a production meeting or you have to maintain your equipment or, f or you're just completely knocked out of <laughs> the days you had before there. So I stopped then with, uh, um, uh, with the feature films in the series and I went into documentary style film and commercials and some uh, corporate things but I'm not really into the corporate things but um, mostly documentary and commercials but uh, I'm still doing that um, I just had my last shoot in uh, uh, North Carolina here it was about like uh, a Dutch swimmer and he is uh, talented and he's he will be swimming at the Olympics in 2020 and we follow the whole process so that's what I'm doing now and um, when I started in 95 uh, it was that was also the moment that the wireless microphones came into produ uh, came into the business, like the the, the reliable uh, uh, things like Micron and, and these kind of things, and also uh, uh, the problem with hiding the microphones. And it was obviously that you had to hide the microphones if you were doing feature film because you didn't want to have that in the shot. But I uh, but in documentary style film and in uh, 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 ENG, they didn't care. You just put the microphone on and that was it. But I already started uh, hiding the microphones also with documentary and also with ENG and these kind of things. And uh, people like that. So uh, the uh, director asked the sound guy that was working after me, he said, oh, can you hide the microphone? And they said, well, I hide the microphone. Why, why should I do that? Well, he did that. And then they called me and I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said, you, hide, you hit the microphone. And how, uh, how did you do that? And then I will tell him how, uh, tell them how to do it. And then they called them <laughs> the <laughs> and not me again. But <laughs> that was no problem. Um, so uh, after like uh, doing that for a few years, I really got into like the, uh, the, the in, in hiding microphones. But then I thought, why shouldn't, why isn't there anything like a complete solution for hiding mi microphones? There were in that time, there was LMC and there was uh, Rycode. And the Rycode system was that you have like a sticky, and you put the microphone on it and you cover it with some fur. Well, there's still some brands in the market that, that do that and that's, that can be okay. And you had LMC that made the mounts. And of course you had, for the Cause 11, you had the RM11, which was also great. Uh, that was the rubble, uh, rubber thing that comes with the, uh, with the microphone. So, um, uh, but I thought, why hasn't anyone come across the idea to make a some sort of thing that protects the microphone from the things that are outside uh, outside of there. So you pr we created a space around the microphone that protect the microphone and the fabric from touching the microphone. So, um, uh, no, that was the idea, but having the idea and making it into a product, I mean, uh, obviously I'm also a sound guy, just as most of you probably are, and you, ha always, uh, you also probably have dozens of ideas every day, but Transforming that idea into a product, that was more difficult than I thought. Because um, uh, I, was on a, I was on a trip and I saw a little flower and I thought, oh, that's a great base to, to uh, use for 
the shape was, was, was excellent to make the, uh, uh, the first concealer. So then I teamed up with someone that could draw this, of course, but because I'm not a 3D, I cannot do anything with 3D. So I had to find someone that was into 3D, but also knew something about acoustics, because if you don't have anything, uh, uh, anyone that knows anything from acoustics, they design something and they don't, uh, 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 and, and it just doesn't sound right. So after a long uh, uh, quest, I found someone that was into 3D printing and acoustical design, and she designed the first 3D printed Heidemike clip, and that was about three years ago. And we were happy, and I thought, okay, what I'm going to, do, going to do now, I'm going to buy four 3D printers, and I'll let them run all night. So <laughs> I have enough uh, uh, clips then, and I can sell them. But um, uh, when I printed the first my clip with the 3D printer, I directly noticed that the uh, resolution of the printer is actually too low to use it as a concealer. Because if you put it under your clothing and it moves a little bit, you directly hear the because all the layers of the 3D printing. So there goes my idea. Uh, well, and I said, well, how should I continue? Because I was like, you know, should I invest money now? Or is the idea good enough? And then I thought, okay, I give myself 10,000 euros. Just, I mean, it's, it's a lot of money, but it's also not that lot of money that if it doesn't work, that it's, uh, uh, well, a complete loss. So I thought, China, I should go to China. But everyone was talking about China and the market in China, and we have to go there. So I uh, uh, asked for some quotes in China. I said, I have this uh, 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 design, and how much would that cost if you make this into a mold? and uh, produce it. No, no, I know better now. Now I would uh, send a non-disclosure agreement with that <laughs> to, <laughs> to make sure that they don't steal the actual idea. But I didn't tell them uh, what, what it was about. So uh, then they came up with a, with a quote, and it was about $20,000 for a, for a mold and, the, uh, 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 and, and well actually only the mold. And then they had to ship it to Holland. And then I sh just yeah, well, look what you do with it. And uh, I said, well, $20,000, that's, that's a bit much. So two days later, he uh, emailed me back and he said, oh, we can do it also for $16,000. So in two days, they dropped the price with $4,000. And if they do that, then you know that you get screwed. So um, again, the, pros the, the, the whole thing was on hold, you know, with I, I was shooting at that time, I was doing, uh, I had my productions, so it was, it was a still a side project, and, and all the money you spend in it, it's like, well, you can give it to your children, or you can give it to your side project, so th that, was, that was, that's exciting to, uh, to do that. And then uh, I looked up uh, a guy in the Netherlands, and there we, uh, we teamed up with a, uh, with a guy that was in 3D printing, and he had like, uh, no, not in 3D printing, in uh, mold making, and he could design the whole thing, and he could produce it in a normal way. So now I ended up with a guy in Holland that could, could produce the thing. Well, that said, um, after half a year, we were all finished. I had my design ready ask a girlfriend of mine to make the drawings. She <laughs> did, yeah, you know, that's how it goes. You, you, you do everything in, in all end because it's so important. If you want to transfer, uh, transfer an idea to a product, you have to make a product. You, if, I, if I like only s sell this in a, in, a, in a zipper bag, people don't know how it, uh, how it will work and uh, it's, it's not appealing and you cannot, uh, well, you cannot sell it in, in that way. So you had to have, I thought, I looked to Apple, I thought you have to have like a good package. So I did that and then um, uh, I had the 3D, uh, uh, the 3D prints uh, ready and, and these almost ready. And I, then I start traveling just around the country and I put it sometimes put it on my Facebook page. page. And, uh, and it started that uh, Wilcox here, they noticed that Facebook page and I came here and they said, oh, that's a great product. We should, you should do that. And, and I got from all corners people saying, oh, you should do that, should do that. And then you start like uh, being uh, uh, motivated to complete the product. And uh, yeah, well, when it was finished, I already had some sort of base of people that uh, wanted to uh, take the first batch. And uh, well, from there on, it really went upwards. 
So that's a brief history about uh, the Heidemann clips. And uh, there's one thing I want to show you, uh, what I did like uh, to see in, in what kind of business I am. Uh, I have this sh uh, short commercial I did for a Dutch um, uh, telecom provider. Uh, it's a Christmas commercial and it's been all been shot with Heidemann. It's all been shot with Heidemic, and uh, that what then you just can see how uh, uh, what results you can get. <laughs> Should we? Is there someone here for a technique? Peut-être. Yeah, I want to turn it off, but it also has maybe maybe you want to. Matt. No, they they're gone. Well. I might. Uh, I just want you to get two kills, right? Yeah, that's all. That's all. Connor's back there. He's weak. Uh, I'll get that kid. I'll get that kid. Uh, Connor? Uh, yeah, I'm pushing left. Nou, wat ik er zo leuk aan vind is dat ik thuis kan komen en online kan komen en daar eigenlijk gelijk met vrienden gewoon weer kan spelen. En ik speel eigenlijk altijd wel met dezelfde klik als het ware. Zero, yo fucking trash. <laughs> so, we have a group of friends who I play with every day when I come home. Connor, Mats, Krim, Dan, Jack, and Matt. They're like my best friends. So we have deep and meaningful conversations. So we talk about relationships and our personal lives. Oh yeah, it's, it's tactical. Like if you don't play as a team, you're going to lose. I'd say Dylan's probably the best out of all of us at COD. But yeah, I'm definitely the worst, unfortunately. Ik denk dat het misschien eigenlijk wel betere vrienden zijn dan uh, vrienden die ik heb in Nederland, omdat ik ze gewoon zoveel spreek. Oh. Nou, met Matthew zijn de gesprekken altijd wel wat zwaarder, denk ik. Matthew went through uh, depression. I think that us in general helped him through that. Like when when I do have these problems, they go away when I'm playing online with them. Like if they're not there, I'd probably be a lot worse off. And, and um, what are they like in real life? <laughs> I don't know what they're like in real life. Why not? Because oh, I've never met them. I've never met any of them in real life. Dus nu gaan we dit weekend in Kent in Engeland. In een pub hebben we nu een kerstdiner georganiseerd. En dan gaan we elkaar om voor de eerste keer ontmoeten. Het is best spannend, ja. Ik bedoel, je bent natuurlijk best wel uh, nieuwsgierig naar uh, hoe die mensen in het echt zijn. En of het dezelfde klik is in het echt. Train station, on the way. I guess I am nervous about it, but they can't really be much different in real life to what they are online. It's been a long time now that I've known them. I hope they're my type of people and they're normal <laughs> in real life. What's up, guys? In the Euro Tunnel right now? Almost there. See you guys soon. So I've just come out of uh, King's Cross Station now. You're short. <laughs> the giant. Oh. <laughs> All right. It's good, Matt. I think I think I'm still taller. I guess. That's <laughs> <laughs> good, Chris. That's good, Jack. Hey. 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 I say we play. Oh! Got it, got it, got it. Oh! Well, okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. Wow. 
Turn on the light, please. Yep. Is it working or not? Which one is it? Which one is it? Is it working? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. So this is uh, what I did last summer. No, not last summer, but in, in, in November. And uh, well, this is completely shot with high mic and boom, of course. I was a one-man band and everyone was wired. S uh, and I had it all like, yeah, well, y it, you see, it's like documentary style uh, commercial. So you have to have it in one time. So definitely is important to prepare. Um, I will now get my notes so that I know what I want to talk about. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, when you start with, uh, uh, well, actually, I don't know exactly uh, how experienced everyone is here. So, what I do, what I uh, try to do now is like some sort of introduction to the hiding microphones, what you can expect when you're uh, hiding microphones, and uh, what is important to, uh, uh, to be successful with it. And uh, then I will start, like, I have, I have defined like 10 situations which you can encounter in daily situations, and, uh, and I will try to show you how you can mic them within a minute. So, so using my products, but also using other products, because, you know, there's not one solution to hiding microphones, and you, you have to have like a tackle box full, you have to have your head full, you have to create a way that you're uh, like, um, uh, you, 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 you have to create a way that you have some sort of, uh, oh, how do you call that? Um, so that you can tackle every situation, you know, everything, it's not, not only, yeah. I know, I knew how to say that, but. Bear with me if I'm not I'm not completely into the English. Okay. Um, well, there for me there are two basic rules when you uh, mic people up. One that if you think it's not going to work, it probably won't. So if you have an idea, so uh, uh, um, okay, uh, you you walk in somewhere, and you see your talent, or you see the person that you have to uh, mic up, and you look at that, and you say, "Oh, that's difficult. I don't know how to. Do Maybe I do it like this, then do it like that." And if you're doubting about how it how you uh, should uh, get it done, it probably won't work. You you end up with too many layers, uh, uh, microphone not placed right. So that is uh, uh, that is something to take in account. When you start, um, be prepared. You know, know what you want to do. That's one thing. And the other thing is, technique never leads the talent. So uh, there was a, uh, there was a, uh, one uh, uh, situation that uh, a talk show host, she had like a hidden mic and the sound guy said to her, she, she told it to me, she said, to, uh, the sound guy said to her, well, yeah, if you are talking, try to sit still. So, so what she was completely paralyzed when she was in the <laughs> in the conversation. But you know, every time she wanted to say something, she didn't uh, dare to move. And that is also with like uh, uh, actors. If you ask, oh yeah, be uh, be careful because there's a mic there. They don't sh they don't care about your mic. I mean, you have to you have to be, be sure that everything is there and even be one step ahead of that. For instance, if you have a like a, a, a something put on the bra and you think, oh, uh, it, this works fine for this scene, but you want to have it for a whole day, make sure that you make sure, simple, uh, uh, secure it a bit so that nothing can happen. So you have to always be a step ahead so that the talent and the, um, uh, uh, and the yeah, well, not only with, with actors, but also uh, in normal uh, documentary with normal people, that they don't uh, feel anything that they are wired. And that is also because the thing that is important in film is that these people, it, these people count, you know, that they're the ones that should be filmed and they should be uh, uh, secure, they should be, uh, uh, feel comfortable with you being there and do what's necessary for the film instead of do what's necessary for the sound. So that's a, that's a big thing. And uh, that is also uh, when you get into, s uh, um, you don't have to do it yourself. 
you can work together with all the departments on the set and that is also good when you come on set and you have a good relationship for instance with wardrobe and you just give the microphone uh, at the beginning of the day to wardrobe and say can you put the microphone there and then uh, I will adjust it and then uh, 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 then we're finished. Then you have like uh, teamwork and uh, people take you seriously and the only thing that uh, you have to do is make sure that it's in the right position. The other way around that if you change something on the set to the microphone and you notice that you did something to the tie or you did something uh, uh, to a shirt or always call the one that is uh, responsible, the, uh, responsible for the clothing, call it back, ask, yeah, I moved it a little bit, can you, what, can you look at it? And these kind of things make you, uh, like, uh, uh, make you a professional, Wor working together. Also, for instance, you, what you can do if, you are, if you're uh, on a shooting day, maybe your first shooting day or a second shooting day, go to your DOP and ask, you already know that he doesn't see the microphone, but just ask, hey, can you see the microphone? And he says, no, 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 oh, good, 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 good. So next time when he does see uh, sees the microphone, he doesn't shout, on a, uh, shout out on a set like, oh, I see the microphone, he will come to you and say, yeah, sorry, can you okay, please adjust it a little bit. So these small tricks that is so important, uh, not only for, uh, uh, yeah, well, doing sound is not only the technique, but all these kind of politics. That's, that's, that's at least as important as the technique. I mean, I, I expect you as a sound guy that you know your technique. That's why you're a sound guy for. But the, these other things that makes you stand out, like how quick are you with uh, how, uh, how your level of microphones? How many times do you have to come back? How are, you, uh, how are your social skills on the set? And that is uh, how you're getting better as a sound guy. In my opinion then, if there are questions, just let me know, or if, uh, if you have some, we can make it like into a discussion also. Yeah, um, the other thing is preparing. I think you have to have a set that works for you. You don't have to have everything. You should try everything, but you don't have to have everything. So you have like one set in your kit. For instance, what I have on, on set, I have a high mic set, I use Rycoat stickies, I have my uh, uh, B-Flex, that's, that's also a high mic, um, I use the, uh, the Ursa fur tangles, and that's about it. I can do everything with it. And uh, I think you should, as a sound guy, know what you want to take and how you, uh, how you use it. And I, for instance, I hate cutting on a set. I don't like to be on a set and still cut my top sticks and sh do that at home. You know, be prepared when you when you come uh, when you come to the set. Just have your tackle box ready. Everything's in there. And poop 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 poop. All right. Um, well, now I'm going to like introduce the thing I did. This is like the first basic hide mic set. And I thought, because there is not one solution to, uh, to hiding microphones, but you can at least try to make a set that is like a general approach to every situation. That is what I try to do. So instead of having just one concealer uh, that the other brands have, I try to make a four set. So in one set, you have one tie holder, that's obviously for the tie, there's a t-shirt holder. I like that a lot because it's just like a cage uh, around the microphone, but I will go into that later. Then you have the bra holder, very popular. And then you have the shirt holder. So um, that, that are my go-to uh, concealers for the, for the day usually. Uh, sometimes you have to do body micing. For body micing, we've made this. But there are also some other solutions. You can also use like uh, these kind of things, like foamies or uh, um, hush laughs. That's the same actually as the foamy, and uh, uh, to put it directly to the body. So there, there are more ways to get to it. But uh, obviously, I'm from Heide Mike, and I designed it because I like like the way of working. And uh, so you have four different clips for different solutions. So now what I want to do is I want to show you, like on the hand of, I have here Renee, this is Renee, was Renee, 
And uh, well, he's our actor for today. He's not moving, so that is a bit of a problem. But we can maybe we can uh, later on just check with people, and if you want to try it, uh, we can try it. So th we uh, we have a situ we can do that. But now for now, I want to explain like our eight to ten um, situations on Rene. So we're first going to start with. Let me check. Did I have everything? Oh yeah, I, uh, oh yeah, one thing, uh, probably most people know it, but the best way to place the microphone is here, on the plexus. About 20 centimeters, I don't know how much is an inch, but probably six or something, uh, uh, on the chest. Everything, every place else is like a compromise. So if you, because the, the, uh, the distance be between the microphone and the mouth is always the same, even when it moves a little bit, you won't hear any um, moving of the sound. But uh, any place else, in my opinion, is a concession. So uh, be sure that if you place it somewhere else, that it can be fixed in post, that you can do something in post. Because I think that uh, the, uh, uh, the quality you have as a sound engineer is also that how much your production has to spend in post. I mean, if they have to spend less in post, then actually you're cheaper. And the amount, uh, the, 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 the amount they don't spend in post, they can give to you, or maybe a small part. So that's how you can, sorry? In my dreams. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well in the Netherlands it's like this. They give, oh, they pay you everything. <laughs> no, 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 it's like probably the same. Yeah. yeah. So, but that, that's something of your professionalism. P try to keep the, uh, the work they have in post as, uh, as cheap as possible. So, uh, if you, you have to be aware that if you listen to what you're recording and think, well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's not really good, know if it's going to be, uh, uh, if, you, if you can adjust it. If not, don't do it. You know, because then, then they have to f find another solution because then they have like uh, uh, either have to uh, uh, dub it or have to spend a lot of time in post or it just doesn't come up good. So this here is the best place. Everything else is a compromise. And uh, if you're doubting, it won't work. Keep that in mind. Um, so there you go. Okay. Well, let's start with the demonstrations now. Um, there's a bit of a contradiction here now with the winter coat. It, I, I, obviously, you don't have that much here in, uh, in California, probably, on because it's uh, quite warm in, uh, usually. But we have this problem a lot in Europe because it's cold and you want to have it like this. Uh, I just said technique is always following uh, the actor, but not in this case. We're already gone here. Because <laughs> if you have like a winter coat and it is clo close like this, <coughs> it, won't, it won't work. It won't work. The higher the microphone, it won't work. So uh, uh, I always say, if you want to have a winter coat, have it like this and use a scarf or something and secure it. This is, this is what it is. I would push for that. If they say, we want to have it like higher up, I would talk to production and say, well, yeah, they want to have it, but be, be aware that it's going to be, po you have to post it. So it, it, it depends a little bit on the budget you have. If, if posting is not a problem, just do it like that. But, but if you're like in, 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 in like mid-range productions or low, low end productions, which most of us are probably, uh, then there is not, no budget for, the, uh, uh, for, for posting. Excuse Can't me. You just cut a hole? Try that with a documentary. Ah. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Can I cut a hole in your jacket? <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, of course. It, it, there, there, there are always like exceptions, and sometimes you just have to because it's in the shot. But this is more like a general approach, you know. That that's. So for this one, what I do usually um, is this. I already have the mic here, somewhere. So I, today I will do it with a COS 11. And what I do, uh, first I will take the T-shirt holder, it's for a high the mic T-shirt holder. And what you do, you slide it easily over the microphone like this. 
and because of the rubber piece at the back of the COS 11, it will stick in the concealer and it won't, it won't fall out easily, so it's really secured. And what I do, I always try to go for the, for the space, for air. I always look for air. So what I do here now, I will take a sticky. In this case, I will take the Ursa tape, like that. You put that on the back of the concealer, where is it? Fell. Fell, okay. One minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you, you put that to the back of the concealer, tear it off, like that. Come on, Eric. And you will just place it right behind the zipper here. So, this is free. You have your space here, and uh, you can put it there. Th there's another thing. If you want to, if someone's walking, you can hear the zipper. zipper. So what you want to do, that's why we developed the silly pads. It's like a small silicon pad. Do it like this. It's very small. It's like four millimeter silicone uh, glue pad, very sticky. And you can use it for everything. Uh, also, uh, when you have clinging jewelry, what, it, with which, uh, what is bothering you, you can glue the jewelry to, uh, uh, to each other, but you can also glue it to the, to the uh, clothing so it won't uh, move anymore. Or uh, when you have a keychain or something like that, you can all use this for. But you can also use it for like this. Because, and that is also something you have to, I mean, when someone's standing still, you, you, well, you don't think of that. So you know that if someone starts to walk and the zipper will tick, that you have to be prepared. You cannot do anything against that at the moment you're... So, so now I this is our winter coat. No problem. And if people start complaining and they want to uh, do it in a scarf, you can do the same. Then you just take this out and put this directly in the scarf. Because there's... A there's a space around the microphone and, and nothing can touch the microphone and even when something touches the concealer the surface of the concealer the surface of the concealer is so smooth that it will immediately run off you won't hear anything like it's it's completely protected and that is something that i wanted to uh, have in the design because i always thought well it's strange that you have something that you uh, that still can touch the microphone with the Top skin or a top stick and the uh, and the fur or something like that. What if there is a wind? What is there is if there is wind? Good question. If there is wind, well, actually, when you hide microphones, it's like it's going to be recorded on the internet. So yeah, you can record, no worries. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but <laughs> so don't tire yourself. No, when there is wind, that's a good question. Um, there are several solutions against wind. What I usually do. I take Rycoat stickies, and this is a new, pro uh, new Rycoat thing, and it's called Sticky O. Oh, they're gone. Ah, oh, bummer. <laughs> Natalie, do we have Rycoat st uh, Sticky O's or not? Nat? No, she's... Let me check. Pop, 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 pop. Mm -hmm. Sorry? I am pretend, yeah, I pretend it's like a Rycoat sticky. <laughs> I do the overcover. Is it like a yeah, it's <laughs> the difference is that like it's it's a it has a hole in it. It's sticky oh, sticky O, yeah. It's yeah, well it's like yeah. it's this. I thought it was in, but probably left it somewhere. Okay, what you do is you put that le let's say that it's a sticky O, you put it over the concealer. And then you take, from the Ursa family, you take the soft circles. You take it out. And the good thing about the soft circles are that they are uh, like a little bit elastic. They, it's like not yeah, stretchy. So what you do is you put this on the back of the concealer, tear it over the concealer, and there you go. There you have your wind protection. But again, if you are hiding microphones, it's like always 
on the clothing. So I don't have that many of a problem with microphones uh, uh, with wind, with wind. As sometimes I have it when it's in the tie because uh, then the microphone is exposed. Exposed, but usually I can uh, uh, do it without because if you are doing this, it will affect the sound a little bit. And uh, I rather push it back a little bit more into the uh, uh, into the tie, so that you have the wind protection from the tie instead of using this. But it's that these are all things you have to try for yourself and see if it works. You know that you have to do it a lot of times, and then in the end you have a uh, you will get like a good way of working. A good question. Yeah, and you can do that. I mean, this is with if you have like high winds, you do the you you put on the thicker kind of thing. So they're they're furry things, or you know. Maybe you can make a racket with like a something similar to the furs that would be small enough to fit in. To fit it uh, to fit in, yeah. yeah. Well, y you know, yeah, that that is possible. But I'm uh, I'm I don't want to go into wind protection. That is a bit of a thing. It's like there are so many products on the market that are already doing that. And because you can also take like uh, these big wind bubbles and put it completely over the concealer. But th the idea of a concealer is that you have the smallest footprint print possible. So you don't want to end up with a bulky thing, you know. That's that. So I, I think this is, this is a way that works. And uh, th th other people already invented that. And there's no use for me of bringing things in the market that are already there. Sounds logical, too. So, uh, well, enough for the code. It works. You should try it. Next thing, sweater. Sweater is also a difficult thing. Because usually a sweater is worn, well, yeah, this is a vest, but I will make it into a sweater now. As you can see, I have children. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say this is a sweater. And uh, uh, you want to place the microphone under there. And you think, well, where, where should I do it? Do I do it right behind the zipper again? Or is that maybe too uh, risky? But I still want to be here somewhere. So what you do, you look if someone has a shirt under his uh, sweater, there's always this thing here. And yesterday I learned that's a blanket. Placket. Pla placket. Placket. That's a placket. And <laughs> because it's like this, it creates a little space here. And you, you want to use that. This little, because it's the, 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 the shirt holds off the sweater a bit. So what you do now, again, you take one of our famous t-shirt holders. The same we used for the for the uh, um, same we used for the for the code. Come again. And then you take a, 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 like a regular sticky thing. You can use the the right code stickies or the Urza or whatever. You can cut them yourself with top stick. You do it like this. The good thing is that if you do that, the microphone is. Uh, the microphone and concealers are uh, glued together like this, so there's less risk of it falling out. So <coughs> another safety thing that you can, uh, that you have. So then you take it off. You you look for the you look for the space. And you place it right next to the zipper. So not not under the zipper, but right next to it. And when this when this moves, there is some free space because of the blanket. Blanket. Placket. Placket. Oh, <laughs> whatever. Uh, the uh, the placket. And um, uh, and because the, the the concealer is so the the surface of the concealer is so smooth, it will the the sound you won't he won't hear anything. It will just run off, and um, you can go. Yeah, well, you're set for all day. This works uh, works very good. Sometimes you have like a V in a in a in a sweater. Use the seam. Go to go for the seam. You know th that also because it's thicker. Try to uh, try to uh, look where the space is and put your microphone there. That works. 
But if it's too high, I mean, th these all things that you encounter, if you have like a fat guy that's really big, and the higher you get with a microphone, it's a lot of fun than this. So you, you have to take that in account. Everything, that's, that's uh, also reason why uh, concealing microphones is never easy. I mean, I'm, I'm doing this now for 20 years, and every time I do it, it's like, and it's like an adventure. I know what I do, uh, what I'm doing, and it it, I, it it goes well every time. But it's not every time that I admit it. I always say, "Oh, hi, um, yeah, I'm coming to place the microphone, and if it's okay, you won't see me back. But otherwise, I will come back." And sometimes, even me, as like like specialized in in all the concealer things, I have to come back once or twice and to put it right. It, there, it's ne it's never easy. It's never easy. There's always like an, a, a challenge to do it, and it's always awkward. I mean. <laughs> It, it is. Uh, in my opinion, it is. We have, we have like a, some sort of agreement with each other that between the actor and the sound guy that it's not awkward. We play that we're not, that it's not awkward. But in the end, it's like unnatural. And I think we, we have to take that into account. And, 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 and but how many times do you mic someone in normal life? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, no, but you understand, it's always a professional, it's always, and, and, and you always get into someone's, well, I say, energy or aura, and they're now like uh, uh, big actors that have their uh, assistants mic them up, because they're just fed up every time with a, a different sound guy, and that ha the, the, the guy just got out from, uh, from the outside, had a smoke, his fingers are stinking, uh, well, yeah, well, it happens, or, uh, you know, or dirty hands, or, you know, that these kind of things. It happens. Could you show me the uh, end product, so you can zip down yeah, and show us? Yeah, uh, Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see the trick? There. There. You see, now, well, now there's a tie, but even now there's space here. You see, this is the thick part. And you do it like that. And I always, yeah, it's, it's a, there, uh, people ask me, uh, do you put it from the outside to the inside, or do you put it from the inside to the outside? I always do it from the outside to the inside, because if you do it the other way around, you have to press the body of the, the, the one that you are putting it on. And now you can just do it like this, and it is awkward, but you try to make it as... Even for like, uh, just the t-shirt, or is that for like, t-shirts outside? T-shirts also. T-shirt oh. also. I only do it when it, with the body miking, obviously, but... Oh, even just a plain T, you, you would put it on the shirt instead of the I, I, I uh, try to, yeah. Because... The if, if it... It doesn't have to. Yeah. They're, they're tricks. If you, if you, if you, if you like, the problem is m most of the times what you do is you pull the t-shirt and then put it up and then the fabric is stretched yeah. and then when it stretches back you see the exact print yeah. of, the, of the sticky. But if you like, yeah. if, you, if you tap it on, it might not... It, it Well, the, the thing is, uh, yeah, the thing is, uh, I uh, try to avoid the skin. Uh, uh, well, uh, if it's the, 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 the choice between a uh, 5,000 euro uh, uh, post-production or the skin, I would go for the skin. Sure. But, you know, it's... Uh, also, you have to be careful and ask if there are like a couple of latex. Cause a lot of no, they, 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 that, that's the reason why we made these of uh, uh, silicone. Yeah. Because you go, latex for one day is okay, but if you have an ex that should wear it for a day or five, yeah. and it ends up with a rash. You don't want to do that. But we get into that later because he's still dressed. Oh, okay. Sticking to fabric is something that I t try to avoid because I've had too many s situations where it peels off by the end of the day. Okay. Is there anything, types of fabrics or types of stickies that you find you don't have issues with? I mean, I use the right. Super stick works well. And what I personally use a lot is this, is camera tape. We, we use it, uh, I don't know if, it, if you have it in the US, but it, it, it's, it's oh called yeah. Yeah, it's it's like t paper. Yeah, yeah, but it's, paper. it's not, uh, no, no, it's not paper, no, no, it's, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, what I, what I usually do, if, if, uh, if there's a situation like this, what I could do is like take a piece of that and just put it on the 
cable of the of the uh, yeah oh yeah yeah sure so so you secure it extra Oh, oh, you didn't hear the question, excuse me. Okay, he was asking, uh, sometimes I'm reluctant to uh, put uh, sticky tape on a shirt, on, on fabric, because it sometimes falls off. And then I said, well, uh, uh, well, I don't have the problem, but you might want to secure it a little bit more. And for that, I used like this camera tape. And the thing is that if you put it on, it's already very uh, sticky, but it, if it heats a little bit, if it gets warm uh, a little bit, it sticks even more. And it's not like, uh, yeah, you know, it, it will leave some residue on the clothing, but you know, the sound was good. So. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you can't leave that in the clothing when, like, when you're taking the microphone off, you better bring it out. Yeah, you bring it out. You have yeah, to bring it out. If yeah. If you dry something with gaffer's tape on it, and then no, the definitely, definitely, it will definitely. never come off. It will never come off, and it will show. And you, you never use it in plain sight. You always use this on the inside, and it's more like if you're really like insecure that you think ah, it, it, it might, it might want to drop, then you do that, but not if, uh, if uh, rather not. Do you typically don't reinforce, do you, do you uh, strain release at all? Uh, not in this situ situation, no, no. What I do sometimes, that's a handy trick. What you have, if you have a microphone, you sometimes have the wire also makes a lot of noise. Not only the microphone itself, but the wire makes a lot of noise. And what I do then, we can try that later on uh, with a working mic. Well, actually, I can do it now. Hello, hello, yeah. Turn it up a little bit. Uh, hello, 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 you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's working, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, I'm such a professional. <laughs> okay, here you have the, the microphone like this. Ah, uh, you don't hear it on the system. Which one? I think it's three. Number three, I don't see it. Is it three? So, so, uh, I don't see it here. And now it is. Sorry. Is yep, okay. There it is. Yep, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, rustig, rustig. There is genoeg voor iedereen. En iedereen komt aan de beurt. So, yeah, that was Dutch. Yeah, no, yeah, he only understands Dutch. <laughs> so, yeah, here you have this sound. And sometimes you just hear that when it's under the clothing. A very simple, uh, people try to make a strain relief like this with some tape on it and then it's, it's less, you hear that? But what I just do, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, make a little, just twist it like that. And then, oh well, yeah, I'm finished. <laughs> so you see, so it's a l little twist in the, uh, in the cable Get to get rid of all the microphone noise. So, easy trick. So you might want to do that, but but if you you can also make a strain relief, so that secures the uh, the concealer, and you ha you solving the problem of the cable noise. Is it also a good idea? I turn it off. Well, oh, I think so. Okay. Um, so, this was this. That was a sweater. Well, now for the tie. I like the tie. Thai food. All right. Thai thing. Obviously, Thai is a great place to hide a microphone. But there are some problems sometimes. We designed the tie holder for that. And, uh, well, yeah, actually it's quite small, but I can, maybe I can pass a set so you can watch a little bit what it is. And um, the base is uh, horizontal and the top of is arched, it just the same as the knot in the tie. So you have like a, a horizontal base and this is, the knot is a little bit arched. So what you do, you make sure that you run the wire under the shirt completely up and then it goes down to the uh, tie down. And because these uh, uh, microphones are omni, uh, om omnidirectional, it doesn't matter if it's pointing down or it's pointing up. So make sure that if you are doing this, that you're using an omni microphone. Well, otherwise it uh, yeah, will just sound bad. What you do is you take our tie holder, you slide it 
over the tie, and then you push it back like this. Very easy. Oh, you tuck the you tuck the wire a little bit more because otherwise it will show on the top. And the thing is, you get a little gap between the uh, the knot and the tie and the microphone, so sound can come in easily, and you have uh, you're set for the whole day. Sometimes, especially now with all these 4K cameras and all, people start complaining. Cam cameramen will start complaining. Say, I, I can't have work with a gap like that. That's too big. I, you might as well uh, put it in plain sight because this is just too big. That happens in that same words. Um, so what you do is you push it just a little bit more in the, in, the, in the tie. And then you end up with something like this. What still works because uh, as, you, as I told you earlier, we started a hide the mic with a uh, uh, person who was uh, in acoustical design. This clip is adding a little bit of a high uh, boost. So what you get is even uh, the, uh, the concealer is under the clothing, it will add some high. So that, that is um, uh, to compensate this. But now you have like, you know, you, you want to tighten it and, and it looks good. Ask wardrobe, can you, can you live with that? But it, uh, huh? Can you plug one in to look at well, yeah, well, it, it doesn't move, so that's a bit of a problem. So maybe we can do that later on, and, and, and then, then we take that one. And then, uh, so I, and I want to do the techniques, and then later on the, uh, the listening. And then is the wire going in the front? Like? It's going down the front, or are you putting it yeah. down the back? If, well, here it's in the front, of course. The, the the cable the cable of the microphone yes, the the yeah and then it goes back and it goes here oh. under the shirt and it goes here well the the, uh, the idea is that you end up here that that's it yeah I, if you want to run it from the back and if some people prefer that to, to go for the from the back that's fine with me but sometimes you have a problem that mm. as a the, the the fabric of the tie is uh, silk is always hell so you, you don't, yeah, well, actually, you want to avoid silk air, uh, all the time. So uh, d d blouses and ties, but sometimes you have it. And what I do then, I secure it a little bit more. So again, I take out a silly pad. The hour, this is why I uh, developed these, uh, these sticky pads. Because I tried it first with a, um, with a Rycote sticky, but it was just too bulky. To get it in, it was, it was awkward to get it in, like you, you had to really push it in hard. And what you do now, you can prepare that even. So you take the concealer, the silly pad, it's on transfer paper. So there's this little glue dot there. You can touch it without uh, getting sticky hands. You put it on the back of the concealer, take it off, and it's there. And it's very sticky. You can try it later, and on the, we can put it on the, on the laptop or something, and then you can try it to, to, uh, to get it off. You do it like this, push it back in, and have it like this. And again, this will, not, this, this will not cover every production, but 80 to 90 percent of every production uh, uh, can have this. From if you the side away from us, yes. excuse me? From the side away from us, the back side of the side of the mic. Uh, the, yeah, the grid is on the side, it's, uh, it's outside, because this is arched like that, and, and you have the, the, the concealer is also arched, so you want to ha so have the, the arch on the outside. The sti yeah. sticky is on the back, but what I do, it, it's, it starts stick to stick more when you press it. So what I do, I, I do like this, and I press it a bit, not too hard because otherwise, uh, well, it will probably break. But you just press it a little bit, and then it's here for the whole day. It will just be there, secured. And even when when it's moving a little bit, or it will uh, um, it will stay there. And what I also always do, that's a also a small trick, I tighten the nut like really. <laughs> Yeah, is this okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's really <laughs> tight. So you, so you don't have these small things that uh, people think, what, what are you doing? And, 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 and at the moment they think that, you're already done. <laughs> so this is, this, is tie, this is tie miking. So uh, actually, I like, like, this, uh, uh, like this. And um, the reason why we made it like with a little bit of a high boost it's also that, it, it, what I told you earlier, that the best place to place it, to put it here, we, uh, well, this is obviously a bit higher, so we, ad we adjusted the sound, so it will stay 
uh, um, how do you call that? No. Yeah, consistent also, but um, hearable. But that it's like 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 it doesn't. Uh, 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 no. Okay, we'll lose that one. <laughs> So, this is time hiking. Very handy. Oh, what? Got it off. Oh, yeah, and the good thing about the silly pads is also they're very sticky, but if you want to take them off like this, it leaves no residue. You just throw that aside. And how are you laughing? But we're all doing it. <laughs> you know, how, how do you recognize that there's been a sound man in the, in the house? <laughs> this is laying on the ground. Yeah, take it out. You can take it off. Yeah, okay, good. So now, uh, now we had the tie miking. That was okay. Shirt, shirt like this. Yeah. Well, you know, there, there are two. There are s a few things about the RM11. Uh, I think they're pretty bulky. They are. But do, do, does everyone know the Air RM11? That's that's the uh, if you buy the we're Sanken. now talking about the Senken. If you're using the Senken Cos 11, then uh, it comes with a small piece of um, a rubber where you can stick the microphone in, and and it has the the ability that you when you pull it in a little bit more, you get a high boost. So it is usable. But I think m myself, I think it's a little, little bit um, uh, it's a little bit big. But yeah, well, it's I did it for a long time with the RM11. Uh, yeah, yeah, but LMC has like smaller ones. They have like, or the mini mounts, the Ursa mini mounts are also, but they are not like, they're not rubbery, but they, they're also like a little bit the same. Um, and I sometimes think that RM11 do just doesn't sound good. Yeah, I think it depends on the texture of the clothing. Well, it, in my opinion, it, it, it depends more on how far you stick it out. That that if you like covering it completely in the RM11, you get some strange reflections yeah. that you don't want to have. have to yeah, breathe. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, shirt. For the shirt, we designed the shirt holder like this, and this is with a clip on it. It's very yeah, well. It it must be somewhere or, or not, but uh, this is like the holder, like the t-shirt holder, but then with a the clip that uh, that side. So what you want to do here? You want again. You want to be on the blanket, placket, placket, placket. No, placket. Pl uh, uh, and you want to be there and as close to the buttons as possible. Because uh, usually you think, oh yeah, we put it in in the middle because it's as, lo as, uh, as loose there, so uh, we won't hear anything. But if you put it closer to the buttons, the fabric won't move there because it, the button is securing the fabric. So you want to go as low uh, as close to the button as possible. Therefore, we designed this one, and there are more ways of doing it. Again, you slide the microphone, uh, you slide the concealer over the microphone. You have the free space around the microphone, and then you get your placket. Ah, I did it right. And you slide it here over the shirt, and you put it like this. And then it's it's free. Uh, sound can come in, nothing touches the microphone. Even when it moves a little bit, bo both, si both layers of the fabric will move uh, together. So that's, that's quite safe. The only thing is that you want to secure it a little bit because if you have the complete weight of the microphone hanging to the uh, on the concealer, it will drop. Mm -hmm. So then you get, your, uh, get this out or maybe better in this case, you, you have some transport. Uh, that's a bit much, but... You have these nice uh, uh, containers that you just tear it out. I see you looking. <laughs> and this is this is uh, non-allergic uh, uh, non tape and medical tape. So what you want to do is you get the microphone. The concealer is already in its place. And then you put a little uh, tape over the, over the cable. And then again, the mic is there. And... Yeah, yeah, sure, it's sure. It's just, there's no camera. Oh, there's no camera. So you have it like this. Mm. 
it's over the plank uh, pla placket, and then the 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 the, uh, the button will make sure that it's like secured in place, and you make sure that there's no cable noise with this strain relief, and there's also no weight on the uh, on the concealer. Because if you don't have that, you can imagine what happens yeah. when you when you have the weight on the microphone, it starts to go like this. Sure. So, so this is one way. There was a guy, and I, uh, I haven't thought of it, but if I thought it was a nice idea. If you have the transparent concealer, you can do it like this. You put the, you put the, tie and the shirt holder through the buttonhole and have it like that. Mm. And it will show a bit mm -hmm. here. But I think I thought it was an interesting. Uh, it was uh, interesting. If you have, That's it's cool. it's it, it yeah. But the thing is, you know, y what you have to take into account. Uh, where uh, where are you shooting for? If you're doing yeah. things for internet, this might work because when you have a close up, it's probably out of the frame sure. and you won't yeah. see it in a wide angle shot because it's just in the resolution of uh, 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 of your codec. Yeah. So, I thought it was a nice idea. I wouldn't do it myself, but I recommend it for others. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know, I, my standards are a bit higher. But <laughs> what you also can, what you also can do with this, and that's why I find the uh, uh, the t-shirt holder so uh, versatile. Just the little case around the microphone. You just put that on. You get your re your regular uh, tape, uh, your regular sticky. Can DPA fit in there? I will come to that later. We have, okay. yeah, we have like DPA. And uh, uh, we have, we now have for four brands. And we try to make it uh, f uh, like a universal clip, mm. but it was just uh, not yeah. not possible. It was it because it got too big. So what you also can do is like putting it here without the clip, just with some sticky tape, and it works well. If it, if it shows, you just put it a little bit more inside. Yeah, and like yeah oh sure, 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 sure. So you have it again. It's the same as this just above the uh, above the button and the thing is you can a lot of people place their concealers in a uh, vertical way like this mm -hmm. so it, well if you if you have it like this and they put it on like this but then the surface uh, which can be touched by uh, fabric is much bigger than we have when you have it like this so i i always uh, mount my uh, microphones horizontally Yeah. Uh, like yeah. Uh, so you, uh, so yeah, you, so you yeah, yeah. But a tie, uh, but a tie clip is like more like a square, you know. That's not th here, with this one. <coughs> this one is definitely uh, longer than wide. So th with this one, I, I would, th well, I like to have it like horizontally. But I can imagine that you have like. Sometimes you can like, you can go a little bit. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah. No, of course, of course, and and again, what I just said, it's never easy uh, hiding microphone. And whatever works for you works for you. If you want to do it with a with a beer bottle, and that works for you, it's fine with me. You know, <laughs> it's it's just you want to have it. No, no, you understand. Everything, everything, everything that works works. It's there's there's not like one uh, uh, solution to to the problem. So, uh, this is the the shirt. Uh, then we now go to T-shirt for a lot of people, also a thing. But you might uh, may already have enough inspiration to know uh, that you know how you want to do that one. Or an A. Yeah, we have some in the raffle. <laughs> Okay, um, T-shirt mounting. There is uh, a lot to do about the T-shirts. A lot of people are wearing T-shirts, and uh, they tend to get tighter every uh, season. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not happy with that. With a regular T-shirt like this, there are two ways that I would suggest uh, miking it uh, when it's a little bit loose, when you have like 
uh, the place uh, where you have space on the mi uh, uh, for the microphone. You either want to do it here on the uh, on the scene, or you want to do it behind the uh, behind the logo is it if it has one, or you want to do it a little bit higher on the on the shirt itself. But there you have to be really careful that it won't show. Rene isn't the best. Um, well, he hasn't been working out. It's like completely flat. So, you know, if I'm... Uh, oh, yeah, that's your actors? Okay. But they always, uh, they always have like a little bit of space between their, their chest, no? Not when they're young and chubby. Mm. <laughs> young and chubby? Kids. Oh, yeah? But, yeah. They, but they're not wearing slim shirts. They have like these huge oversized... Okay, I will get into, it, into this. So what you want to do when you put it in the, in the seam, because it's tight, you don't want to go from the front, because if it's tight, mm -hmm. you will see the cable. And you don't want to see that. So uh, it, I once had that with a production, I did a feature film, and I didn't see it uh, during the shoot. And I was sitting in the premiere, and it was like on big screen, and I saw it, <laughs> and I, oh, it was, I could go to the ground, uh, through the ground. Yeah, really, yeah. really. You're like, no, probably no one have s uh, uh, saw it, but you know, it was, yeah, it was really embarrassing. So, yeah, yeah. It happened. So what, what you do is you, uh, you want to go from the back. So you run the cable from here, and then you go to the front, like this. You get your concealer out. Somewhere, oh, it's on there already. No, I have it here. Okay. So, and you always, you well, it's, um, it, it's logical. You always try to choose a color that it won't show uh, uh, the most. So, I usually use black or, or transparent. Best color of, uh, best color is no color. So, what you want to do, here's your concealer. You want to have as less footprint as possible. So, again, you take your small silly pad. transfer paper, put it on the back, and like this. But what we al already saw with the sweater, you have the seam here, and the seam helps you uh, to, cover the, uh, to cover the microphone. So what you do is you put it just on the seam, not too much on the, on the shirt, on the seam. And now this is with a mannequin, uh, so, so it, it, it shows more because it's like really on there, but usually you get away with it. Not always, I already said, there are always ways. Um, and because you don't want to see the cable here, you might want to secure it here on the top a little bit. It's always fun to do that, and they think you, they, you tear their clothes. So, and wire is from the back, you secure it here so there's no uh, cable noise, and the microphone is over there. Again, this is not the go to when you're doing a, a, a 20 million uh, uh, dollar production but this is usually if you do like uh, ENG or uh, quick things this will do and this is also because the mannequin is not uh, uh, not completely in shape so if you have like sh logos easy always put it behind the logo so you want to Well, yeah, you can you can imagine how it how I how I would do that. Just because the logo is always uh, there's a shape, and it, uh, it you won't see the microphone. Yesterday I had it on with the promotional videos, you didn't see anything. Cable I cable down. Yeah, I cable down. And what I sometimes do, what is when it's when it's like really, I come from the side, yeah, and I put it, I yeah, yeah, and I put it here, and so, so I put it on on the logo, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's straight, and then I put uh, a little. Uh, Tape there, like the transport, another here, and then run down on the side. That looks like was a, yeah. a female, and you didn't want to be all like You have her tuck it in the bra. Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the next thing. That's the next thing. So, so, and then uh, you also can uh, do body mounting with this. If it's like re really tight, you do body mounting, but we go into that uh, after this. I will first go into your problem, bras. Yeah, yeah, that's your problem. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> no, no. Now, uh, now uh, when I uh, designed this, uh, I uh, uh, couldn't foresee that the whole discussion with the Me Too and uh, uh, the intimacy and these kind of things, that was like three years ago and last year, it like really, blow, the Me Too was there. Um, but also, it's a, it's a good, it's a, it's a great discussion. I, yeah, it's always, but yeah, I know, but yeah, I became aware of it late. And, and that's also, uh, it, it wasn't like anything that was in the, in the business, you know, that, what, that men just didn't care or something, I don't know. Yeah, well, that's, uh, and that, you know, we designed this one is the bra hole. The bra is an excellent place to hide microphones. Actually, it is a super place. But uh, it's always awkward to ask, can I, uh, uh, can I go on your bra? Can I put the, uh, can I put the microphone there? And uh, I can imagine that you don't want to have that. So we designed the bra holder. And the thing with the bra holder is very easy. You just pop it on like this in skin, core, skin color. And my bra is over there. <laughs> so you, you just pop it over the, uh, uh, over the concealer and you just give it to the talent and ask, can you, uh, can you slide this over the centerpiece of your bra? And she can even do it on the set very uh, discreetly. Or you can leave it at wardrobe and in the morning and ask, can you do that? And, and it's like, if, if it's there, it's there and it will work. So what you do is you give it to her. There's already one here, but then we'll take that off. You slide it over the bra, the breast, make the make the air, and there you go. To set for the whole day, no worries. And people like that. There are a lot of. Uh, I, I know that there are a lot of actors. They say, "I want to do this, or I won't do anything." So that's uh, and it's it's quick, it's safe, it's qu uh, uh, and it works. You know, the sound is good. We get a lot of good feedback on this one. So uh, yeah, I like it, and uh, and I think it's also uh, uh, in the discussion. Uh, last year I was at NIB, I was uh, talking to some guys there, and uh, and he said, "Oh yeah, that was just the fun part of my job." And I think, how can you say that at this at the, at the time? Yeah, yeah. So it, uh, I will yeah, but probably not everyone is aware is aware yet. So uh, this is uh, like uh, you just do you just don't don't want to go there anymore. Yeah. So bra holder, keep that in mind. Yeah. So <laughs> when women when, when women hit 50 or so, their breasts change. You can't hang on a bra anymore because it holds the, their side fat in. They have they have special things in there to hold stuff in, and it makes noise. So I would never put a, on a bra on a woman who was over a certain age because it probably is going to make noise. Yeah. Thank you for the tip. <laughs> 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 I, I will. I, you know, I have. I have, there. 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 There are other solutions. I will. I will show you. I will show you. Chest strap. This is like a bra holder, but it's chest strap. I use it sometimes too. What you do? You take it out. It will fall off. No, it won't fall off because there's some uh, rubber inside, and there's a space here. Where is it? Yeah, here, a little, uh, a little pocket that you can uh, put the microphone in. And then you do it like this, and then you have it like this. The thing is that uh, it works, but this is, if you, if you uh, there, there, there are thing, uh, two things. If you have it like that, you could use the, uh, the chest strap, but it, it's actually uh, uh, less sensitive. No, the bra clip uh, is safer. You won't, hear it, you won't hear it as much as this. This is just a little bit more difficult to get quiet, but if it, but it works great. In my opinion, then I mean probably there are people that are swearing with this, but you know it's, it's I'm only telling them how I'm doing it. Sorry, no, this is Ursa. This is Ursa. No, no, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's not like uh, I'm high the mic, but this is Ursa, or you have like like Raiko, whatever uh, works for you works. It's Velcro. Velcro. Yeah, it's Velcro and the. Uh, oh yeah, take a look at it. So, um, so that's it. There's one more thing I uh, would like to discuss with you, and that's body miking. Oh no, it, let's do f hair first. Sometimes you want to go to the hair, but not too much. Uh, there's one thing: uh, if you have big hair, 
then uh, or, or theater uh, productions then you want to put your microphone in the air you should do it but uh, it's not my favorite uh, thing to do and I don't do that, do that often but we have some sort of solution for that and it's called the clips and it's like your regular hair clip but what we did is we've added yeah well p people in the back probably doesn't see this but don't see this but we added a little elastic band and the rubber uh, 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 rubber surface here. So the three in a set. So what you do, the first two you use as a guide for the cable through the hair. You just run it through the elastic band. And you can still use the clip as a, as a hair clip. Does it come in different colors? Yeah, black, white, uh, black, blonde, and brown. Mm -hmm. And the last one, you put your microphone on like that. You put it in place, clip it, and then it's secured. And of course, you have all the pr wind protection and uh, uh, wind protection, and you can put it on. And it's obviously not the best place, but if you if you need it, you just put it here, run the wire to the back. Are those mic specific too, as well? So you're no, no, no. This is these these are like you can use that for every mic you like. I like the shape of the the, the longer mics, like the here you have the. DPA 6060, for instance, th that works great with it. The the 4060 a little bit less because it's it's a bit more like a like a, a bulky thing. So then you secure it on the cable instead of the microphone itself. So that depends a little bit on which mic you use. But you, sorry, Th yeah. this one? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 sure, sure. What, uh, you can try this one as well. So that is for hair mounting, and uh, I only suggest to do that when you have like costume drama and when the when the fabric of the of the costumes are is so thick that you won't hear anything if you put a microphone under it, or when you have. Uh, I, I once had like a, a, a some sort of Western commercial, and I had like uh, all the wireless put under the hat, so <laughs> I had a great reception. The 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 <laughs> transmitter wa transmitter was in the hat, and I had the uh, microphone uh, down like this, and I secured it with a clip. So you know, th then then you can put it in the hair, but it's such a specific way of uh, mounting. Uh, you know, that's um, that's it. So um, well, the last thing is uh, body mounting. <laughs> so, body mounting. Um, first, I'm going to explain what we uh, we designed. We designed like B flex. There was a guy from uh, Switzerland, and he sent me a picture of uh, two cut shoe inlays, gel shoe inlays, and he says, "Well, this doesn't work, but can you make me something uh, something that does work?" And then uh, we, uh, I start thinking, and we came up with this design. And it's, it is a microphone concealer. And again, we ha you have the same uh, philosophy with it. It's, it's sealed, so if you buy it uh, and it's open, then uh, someone already touched it. So it's like hygienic and all. So what we did here in the mic, uh, in the concealer. Is this still a silicone? This is silicone, yeah. So in the. Um, in the concealer, there's the shape of the microphone. So you put it in like that, give it a little tuck that it falls in place, and then you have a concealer like this. Again, uh, uh, our philosophy, uh, keeping space around the microphone so that you have uh, uh, air for the sound to get in and uh, also protection for the microphone itself. Uh, Is it sticky automatically? No, no, it's not sticky. It, it's the same discussion. Because I wanted to have it like uh, skin friendly, I uh, uh, wanted to make it out of silicone, so it, 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 everyone can wear it. It's non-allergic and uh, it, it won't cause a rash with ever, uh, any, uh, anyone. So what I, Scotty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting into that now. So what we thought is how how you mount it to the body is actually quite simple. You get some transport, and you put that over the base of the concealer like that, and then it's mounted. Again, you make sure that the wire is going like that because it's such a, uh, you only use it with very um, uh, uh, tight shirts, so you don't want to uh, have that the wire is showing in the shirt. So you uh, want to run the wire under the chest 
and then down to the side. And um, the good thing about silicone is that it's like non-allergic and it's skin friendly, it's nice to touch, it's easy to clean, but the bad thing is that nothing sticks to it. And uh, we got a, 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 a lot of people that were saying, yeah, yeah, I tried it, but nothing sticks to it, how should I use it? And that is why the, uh, why the shape is like this, this in a V. So if you put something over it, it falls in the cavity of the, of the tape and it will secure itself, so it won't fall off like this. But the thing is, you, may, you have to make, again, you have to make sure that not the complete weight of the microphone is hanging on the concealer, but then it will, then it will fall eventually. But um, because people were asking like, yeah, how can we also make something that uh, we put on the back? And then I was thinking, how can we do that? So I came up with a solution because this is made uh, of material that has been used by uh, people that make fake ears and uh, oh, fake ears and fake noses uh, and cheeks and all. Uh, you can apply it with regular silicone glue. So you get it like, like, huh? Spirit gum? Uh, spirit gum? It's a theatrical thing. Yeah. But no, this, is this is also theatrical. This is th they use it in theaters. So what you do is you have the concealer like this. You just take a Q-tip. And the good thing is that if you, you can do this at home and then you also can use top stick on the back because this is sticky now and then it sticks to the glue. So you do it like this and then you glue it to the body. And it will stay there all day. But you know, I <laughs> me myself, I would actually Secure, secure it again to, to make sure that it doesn't come off. So you either use the, the glue or you use the, the tape. And if you put that here on the plexus, directly to the uh, on the plexus, usually the, uh, uh, the chest is making some space here. And even when you see something of this, it, people won't recognize it as a, as a microphone because it's like an organic shape and they see maybe a little bit of a bump or something, but it won't be uh, uh, seen as a, uh, as a microphone. And of course, there are some internet uh, fora that make a, a sort of a match out of spotting microphones and they probably say, yeah, I saw it, I saw it. But I think they, uh, if, if someone sees it, we send them a cake. <laughs> <laughs> So this is, this is what we do for, uh, for body mounting, but there are also other things for body mounting. I mean, there is like uh, uh, Bubble Bee just came out with a new concealer. It's, I think it's made out of, um, uh, how do you call it, um, latex. So I, I don't know how that works, but you can use something like this. You know, it's also a concealer and you put that directly to the body and it has a little bit of a, le uh, of a smaller footprint, but then again, you don't have the uh, protection of the space around the microphone. So that is my uh, go-to that you want to have like space around the microphone. And they, you can also use like these kind of things, uh, the, the hush laughs, or, or you can use foamies to put it on the body. So you do like this, you put your microphone in there. I'm not very handy with this. Oh yeah, well, I, I am. And then you use some uh, uh, medical tape to put it on the body. And now I hear you thinking, chest hair. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do we do with the chest hair? Um, Shave it. That's number one. <laughs> yeah, well, here is a very, <laughs> very radical solution. <laughs> Some, actors Some actors will do it, but actors that won't do it. I found this on the internet and it's uh, made for uh, diabetic persons and sometimes if you're a diabetic you have to wear a pump on your body the whole day and you don't want that to come off uh, so th they made something that if you put this as a base for an adhesive it will the adhesive will stick better but the good thing is if you put that on chest hair it will create a, some sort of layer over the chest hair and it will run down the hair completely so there's you have like the skin tag you put that on and it will create some sort of layer and you can easily put any concealer on, on that and it, it won't come up all day. Did you not know about Mepitec? I, I don't know what Mepitec. Mepitec is tape that sticks to hair, but when you pull it off, the hair doesn't come with it. Oh, then you can use Mepitec as well. We don't have, we don't have that. Yeah. Mepitec, Mepitec, yeah, I know the brand, but it's expensive, but Mepitec. 
Map, yeah. Map, yeah, Mapitec, yeah. I know, for, for, I think we have some, some here. This, uh, no, I can, I can show it. I, I will show it on my arm. I have some hair on my arm. No, it's not stick. It doesn't it's stick. Like when you put Elmer's glue on your skin. Yeah, and the good thing is, if you use it now with with medical tape. So is that also like the sweat yeah, yeah. It, if you put it on, it will get on all day. And the good thing is, because the hair is under the film, mm -hmm. if you remove the uh, uh, the medical tape at the end of the day, you you tear it off like that, and oh. you won't have any hair or hardly any hair. Probably you <laughs> some, but. No, but it's not, not completely dry, but it, 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 you can put it on within 30 seconds or something. It, it starts uh, when your uh, finger's are getting sticky, then... Uh, what was the name of that? Skin Tag. Yeah, you can order it online somewhere, probably. It, and T-A-K, I guess. T-A-C, yeah, Skin Tag. It is sweat resistant. It won't. It won't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know Mapitec, but. But you have to clean them with alcohol first. Yeah, and and because this, when you take it off, I mean, y you still have the layer, so you might want to remove it with alcohol or. But if you, you if you just shower, it will disappear as well. So, um, so far, uh, you can use that as a base for the B-Flex as well. If you think, well, I want to have it like be there all day, just treat the chest hair with it, and then it, will come, uh, it won't come off the whole day. So, actually, these are the nine uh, to ten things that I uh, wanted to discuss with you. And I think if you use these techniques uh, on your daily uh, da uh, on your daily shoots, I think that in 80% of eat every uh, uh, shoot you're covered. So make a set for yourself, uh, make a plan, make a, some sort of general approach to every situation you have. Write it down. Uh, make sure that you have everything in every color. Everything's working, uh, and try to be quick and uh, um, also uh, confident. That is also something. If you mic someone up. Try to be as uh, confident as possible. What I always do, like, you know, it's a small thing, but I come up to uh, someone, I mic him, and when I'm finished, I do just small tap on the, on the shoulder. Of th so so they, they know uh, uh, I'm ready. Uh, it's like some sort of contact you have, and people think, okay, and then, then they continue, you know? These kind of things are important. So that was about it uh, with uh, for the workshop. What I wanted to uh, wanted to tell you, and uh, yeah, we can have questions now. And but we can also try things out if uh, if you're into that or you think, well, I have enough. Then we just uh, grab something to drink or to eat. Natalie bought cakes yesterday, and I had well, out of the same. The, the, well, the, uh, is it the same cake I, as I had yesterday? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> So uh, if there are if there are any questions, can you uh, talk about any uh, common failures you've experienced over the years? Like definitely do not wear the glue. Try something that just never works. No, no. Uh, what I have encountered is uh, that I let it run too long. That I made that I I I, I placed the mic 
and it was just wasn't good. And I thought, well, it's be, it's it's within the margin, and uh, 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 and I let it. And and after an hour, I thought, nah, it, it's just not good. And then I adjusted it, and I thought I had to do it earlier because the only thing that counts is what they have in editing. There's nothing else. There can be so many excuses on the set, like it was too cold, there were too many layers of clothing, I couldn't, I had a headache, you know, all these kind of things. But the only thing that counts is what they have in editing. So that, I I that is what something I uh, had that they, did I let it run too long. So, so that's, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the thing. You 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 don't. Yeah, you don't. That that is a good question. You don't want to cover the grid of our clips because what happens then if you cover the clips? There was there was on the internet there was like a picture. It was packed in uh, uh, moleskin. So there was moleskin on the front and moleskin on the back. But what you get then uh, the the grid is to uh, avoid strange reflections within the cone. And if you cover it, you get like a cone and then you get some some weird you can have some weird reflections so that that is something you have to take in account and there are also people uh, if you have a lot of chest hair and, and you and the uh, the mic isn't like really attached uh, good to the body or to the clothing you can hear the chest hair again but you know it's I always compare it with if you give like Rembrandt bad paint and he can make a beautiful painting out of it but if you give a uh, bad painter, the best paint there is, it, then it's, it's not necessarily true that it's going to be a, b a great painting, you know? You, n there you n have to know what to do. You, know, so, uh, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. so that is, uh, that is about it. And again, it's, it all comes down to listening. <laughs> yeah, I Sorry. no worries, no worries. So it all comes down to listening. If, if it sounds good, it's good. That's it, that's it. Uh, well, well, I did a lot of feature yeah. film in the series also, but... Uh, right. but, but, but from in the world of like documentary and like commercial like series, and then take it outside for demos. Mm -hmm. Do you have any sort of uh, pre-discussion with production as far as... Because I find like, I, mean, I haven't been on a huge commercial film, yeah. but I've been on yeah. a lot of documentaries and some like... So some they might say something. It's kind of very unorganized, and I don't know if this is just an organizational thing or from a production standpoint. You should be organized. Right, right. But what, what I'm saying is, is if you're going, oh yeah. We have how much input right here. Just do you try to give? Really do you give input as far as already. like, hey, make sure they know. How do we get around? Like they're not wearing some ridiculously crazy wardrobe. I'm gonna have no chance against. Or like, if they can just get there and you do what you gotta do. Usually, I just get there and do what you do. Yeah, you don't. And it, I, there, there are some uh, different ideas about that. Some people want to have like pre-production meetings and and have uh, all these ideas about uh, soundscapes and how to record it. But I have difficulties enough to get it on tape like normal. You know, like <laughs> that you can that you can hear what the people are saying. So for me, that's not really a, a, a thing. And uh, of course. When you're like longer in the business, you will have, uh, you will call wardrobe, you will call the director and ask what are you doing, uh, how should how should we do it? But for instance, with this uh, uh, commercial uh, that I showed you, I did that. I was a one man band, and actually it was too big for me because you know there were so many. Uh, uh, yeah. What's your max? Like, as far as like, do you have a max number that you feel comfortable with by yourself to get things done quickly, or is there a number where you're like? No. It depends. It depends on the on the job and what what's going on. I mean, here I had like the uh, the only thing that I had was the pub, and then that was it. And I, I I it was very controllable. I could mic everyone uh, uh, up before they could uh, came in. We had time enough. But if we didn't have time, and especially with these kind of things, it's all like real documentary. So you uh, there's only one. Sh you have only one shot. And if it if I. If I knew that I didn't have enough time, I would ask for a, uh, for a guy to, to wire the, the people up before they came in. But now I did it myself. So every job needs his own uh, uh, approach. There's no, that's not really, but yeah, if you have a lot, yeah, obviously you, you, need, you need to. But if you're doing like a series, you, you want to have like a mixer and a boom up. Yeah. Any questions in the back?
Yeah. You're quiet today. Yeah. Thank you. No? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, so thank you for uh, joining Hello. me and uh, yeah. thanks for coming. Yeah. And we're back, everyone. Want to say thank you so much for watching this high to mic seminar that we had. We got Eric walking behind me. He's exhausted. He was teaching for probably about an hour and a half today. Um, I do apologize if you guys had any issues with uh, some inter interruptions during our broadcast. Uh, the situation we had is that we had a hundred customers from Wilcox coming in, and all of their phones were tagging onto the Wi-Fi, and they were starting to pull out a lot of different. Um, they were basically taking the data from the upload stream so we did our best to get it done but if you guys had problems watching this don't worry about it we do have it uh, archived on our computers i will work on this and get this archived on our website so once again we want to say thank you so much to wilcox and for hi to mike and eric leak personally for doing this seminar we'll see you soon take care <laughs>